KSL News at 10 starts now. So we understand the depth of the pain. We maybe don't understand the breadth of it. A candlelight vigil ending an emotional day of mourning in southern Utah. Seven members of one family laid to rest following an unthinkable crime. A community gathering tonight in Enoch to remember the Haight family. Earlier in the day, friends and family attended a private funeral for Tasha Haight, her five children and her mother. New specialist Matt Rescone has been covering it all and he has more from Enoch. In our community, we are strong and we are here for each other. It's difficult to describe. Words, words are hard right now, I think. The pain this community has been feeling. We mourn for those who lost their lives. We love you. We see you. We mourn with you. Tonight, the lieutenant governor was among many to honor the Haight family and their city. Thank you for loving each other. Thank you for setting the example. During a vigil to mourn and lift one another. Our goal is uh, to end domestic violence. Hours earlier and 45 miles south of Enoch. Certainly there's a story of two families hurt and broken through an unthinkable tragedy. Hundreds gathered to remember and say goodbye to Gail Earl, Tasha Haight, and her five children. Seek out those around you who need support or are in pain. Be the balm of healing in their lives. Son, brother, and uncle Brett Earl and his siblings also urged those hurting to find help. For their family, he said, God and Jesus Christ had made all the difference. And reach deep inside each of us and turn it into a miracle of healing. That is the miracle we hope each of you find in your quest to move forward from this tragedy. That journey to overcome the pain may take time. But we are not afraid of coming together and feeling what we are feeling. But community advocates and organizers say it shouldn't take any time at all to reach out. Please make sure that you tell somebody close to you how much you love them. Remembering the family and supporting the community will continue through the weekend. Friends of the Iron County Sheriff's Office has raised thousands of dollars and will hold an, a, an event and a raffle tomorrow. All of that money will go towards helping the community and first responders heal. Matt Rascom, KSL 5 News.